What is up guys? Oh my goodness, it's been some time. I know that I've been missing for a couple months. So essentially what happens is school started, exams came, and I got busy, and I couldn't cope. I mean, yeah, it's not a great excuse, but yeah, I'm really sorry. <laughs> so anyway, so now that exams are over, I aim to lose some of that exam fats. You know how you gain so much weight because you just anyhow eat during exams. Yep, that's me. That's I have like that. that, 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 that. I want to lose weight basically because of uh, performance. Uh, I do feel I perform better at a lower weight class. Right now I'm around 77 kilos and I want to get down to maybe 72, even 70 kilos because I felt more explosive and faster back then. So I'm going to be doing this by, uh, of course, dieting. Remember guys, diet is the most important way to lose weight. So I'm going to be doing uh, weekly different diets this is horrible a very bad idea but i just want to find out which is the best way to lose weight what is the most sustainable and which one i actually enjoy so week one is going to be the anabolic diet basically guys the anabolic diet was made popular by the famous legendary youtuber dr coach greg Doucette. so um anyway so it's about basically a diet that allows you to eat whatever you want well, kind of. Uh, you can eat things like pizza, ice cream, and all sorts of nonsense on this diet with a twist. Essentially, everything you eat will be substituted in a way where you know there's higher protein, higher fiber, and it's essentially healthier alternatives to everything that you eat. So, this is actually um, something I really like and I have done in the past. So, let's go and let's see how it is like. Okay guys, so for day one, I tipped the scales at around 76.7 kilograms. Um, this is how I look. I'm gonna say that I don't look uh, awful. Like I don't, I'm not gonna exaggerate and say I look super overweight or super fat or anything like that. But I'm not in peak condition, yeah. So I'm gonna be fair. I'm not gonna bullshit with you guys with using lousy lighting that kind of thing. I'm gonna standardize standing at the same place every single week so y'all guys can see the, you know, the true differences. I'm not like all these bullshit influencers. Huh. Alright, then now moving on for the first day, my first meal was actually Simon Miller's Chicken Crusted Pizza. Basically, this is a pizza that has... Uh, basically, this is a pizza that is made out of chicken. So the macros for this was actually amazing. Um, it's a huge amount of protein and just a little bit of fat and a little bit of carbs because it's made of chicken breast, guys. Come on, how unhealthy can that be? So this was actually quite a big serving size. I ate half of it for lunch and half of it for dinner. Honestly, for day one, I did not eat much. I even skipped breakfast. I just had my black coffee, which was zero calories, of course. And in between lunch and dinner, I had a snack, uh, which was actually just... I ate around 400 calories of sushi. Um, this is not very anabolic, but it is still... Not terrible, you know, not terrible. So for day two, I had the Iron Muskets 4 Cheese Anabolic French Toast Pizza. I'm gonna say this is definitely the best tasting meal I've eaten throughout the anabolic diet. And however, that being said, it is not the best in terms of macros and calories. Like of course, it's not like 100 grams of protein, zero fat, zero carb, that kind of thing. Uh, it's definitely higher on the fats and carbs and not so high on the protein. But in terms of flavor and taste, this is definitely possibly the best recipe I've eaten. So I actually ate this multiple times throughout the diet, not just for this. So for day two dinner, I went out. I actually had some uh, chicken thighs with cauliflower and a baked potato. So uh, yes, that is freaking sour cream and that is freaking cheese. Uh, that's a big no-no if you're doing this. Shouldn't eat this. So this is a big, big, big no-no on my part. Please get it off if you guys were to eat this outside. So for day three, real quick, I had Remington James crispy fried chicken and my DIY protein pizza for dinner. Uh, essentially, this tasted pretty good. Um, overall, pretty good. Not as good as Iron Musket's recipe, but I would still say it's definitely good, uh, you know, since it's still very, very healthy and low in calories. Okay. Alright, guys. Hi. So, now I'm actually at the midway point. So, basically, I started on Tuesday and today is Friday, so I'm halfway through the first week of the anabolic diet. 
So just some stuff I want to talk about, you know, of course some uh, good points. Recipes taste pretty good. Uh, it keeps me pretty full because of the high protein. Uh, however, I have been getting hungry, uh, but I think that's also my fault because um, I'm a bit lazy to cook, so I would rather just starve, but uh, that's not a very good thing. So I'm trying to actually cook a little bit more, more food in, in advance and, you know, eat it. So snacks I've uh, taken essentially is popcorn, you know, Protein powder, be it the clear way for my protein or normal protein powders, mostly the clear way. But the only few downsides I don't really enjoy while doing the anabolic diet um, would be the cooking and the bloating. So if you do eat a lot of fiber, you do tend to bloat a little bit uh, and you get a little bit uncomfortable. But essentially in uh, weight loss, fat loss, that does not matter at all. It's just, you know, it keeps you a little bit uncomfortable, which I don't really like. And yeah, that's about it. And the thing is, you have to keep on cooking or cook everything in advance. So I do see why people might not actually do this diet, although it's probably one of the best diets and I do advocate using it to lose weight. But like, I guess people, you know, would definitely wouldn't want to, you know, spend so much time in the kitchen. Yeah, let's see how it goes and I'll see you guys on day seven. So for day 5 to 7, I ate a variety of meals. The main things I would like to highlight is all of these meals have a pretty good amount of fiber and protein. And all of them do taste pretty damn good. Like, uh, it's comparable to their, you know, unhealthy options. So overall, it was pretty satisfying. I didn't really feel that bad or I felt didn't even feel that I'm really in a diet. Uh, overall, it's pretty good and I did enjoy the other 3 days. Right, so guys, this is my last meal. Anabolic chocolate fudge brownie, Ben and Jerry's inspired ice cream by the Iron Musket. Oh my god, I can't wait. I haven't eaten anything since like 11. So yeah, this is gonna be the last meal. Uh, macros are over here. And yeah, can't, I'm not really hating this diet. It's pretty fun. But yeah, this is gonna be my last meal for the anabolic diet. And 3, 2, 1. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me taste test first. Guys, if you want this to taste good, use a good protein bar. I use the my protein one. It's not bad, but yeah, the taste what depends highly on the protein bar and your protein powder. Very good recipe, Iron Mask. It. See you guys. Time lapse in three, two, one. No. I don't want to say. This is so filling. I cannot finish. I'm done. I can't do it's ridiculous. It's like I don't understand protein ice creams. Every time I eat, uh, I cannot finish. Them, ah, uh, very very good. Props to Iron Musket, but I cannot finish. So I'm done. <laughs> So now it's uh, day 8, I've done the whole 7 days of the anabolic diet and as you guys can see, I lost 1 kilo, like exactly 1 kg. But okay, looking at the before and after photos, um, I don't really know if like I, that is any, there's any visible differences. Uh, like obviously you can see that uh, the colour of the skin is different for some reason. Uh, because I think uh, the freaking sun decided to set a different way or something. I also don't know lah, but it's then weird. But okay, um, the only thing I can see, I guess, is like, I guess the app line area does seem a little bit more visible. But yeah, I guess it's, it's a week, guys. You can't expect insane results unless you're crash dieting, cutting out carbs, that kind of shit. But I'm not doing that. So yeah, this is the first week. I've dropped a total of one kilogram and overall the diet is pretty good. I feel that this diet is definitely sustainable because you're actually eating foods that you are enjoying you're not restricting you're not fasting anything like that in the long term it is definitely a very sustainable diet especially if you got control of what is in your house for example if you're living alone buying your own food you can definitely um, you know choose the healthy choices assuming you know it's more or less the same price so takeaway number two is that on this diet, you don't actually feel very hungry uh, most of the time as compared to other diets. So I believe for most of the days, I was actually working out, you know, doing like uh, jujitsu, martial arts, Muay Thai, things like that, lifting weights. But even though I was so active, even though I was in a deficit, I was not really feeling very hungry. 
I believe this is due to the high protein and high fiber advocated in this diet. So yeah, you don't have to worry about you know feeling like you're starving yourself or anything like that. I wouldn't say you will feel like full all the time, but you definitely do feel a lot better and a lot more filled up, making it and adding into the point of uh, sustainability. Because if you are feeling full most of the time, you know it's gonna be a lot more sustainable for you. Guys. The last one would be time consumption. So I I would say the only downside for this diet is that you do have to meal prep and cook. So for example, maybe things like OMAD or like one meal a day, intermittent fasting, you are having very few meals, so you might not have to cook a lot, if that makes sense. Um, but okay, in, in a way, the anabolic diet, you have to cook your own meals. There is no way like that you can find freaking anabolic french toast on sale anywhere or anything like that. So you have to get the ingredients out and buy, buy the ingredients to cook. I believe that's the only downside I see in this diet, other than maybe a little bit of bloating. But yeah, overall, it's definitely up there. Alright, and that was actually week one of my cut. So I lost one kilogram with the anabolic diet. I felt it was pretty good. Overall, I already eight and a half out of 10. Definitely, I would do this again. It wasn't as bad as uh, you know what things I've tried in the past. So I think that's going to be all for the video. And stay tuned for next week's video where I will be trying out another week of torture and losing more weight. Hopefully anyway. So I'll see you guys in the next one.